I'm so happy you're here. Today I wanted to share my depression journey and how I was able to really heal it because I think this is a story that we don't hear often enough that people do get over their symptoms and are able to heal. It's possible to heal. So growing up, I never really had any depression tendencies. I was definitely moody. Um, I'd worry about anxiety, but my main, the main thing that happened in my life to cause me depression was my parents separating and ultimately divorcing. This rocked my world. It was the first time my heart was ever broken and I didn't know what to do with all these emotions. So I sat there and I sat there and I didn't process, I didn't grieve, I just held on to a lot of anger and pain and sadness. Well, not so much longer after that, I, I mean, I'm thinking to when this happened, like, summer of 2015, um, was when it was really bad. So I got to go to Greece for three weeks in May. Um, I didn't feel great on that trip. I had a lot of digestive issues. I was definitely fatigued. <laughs> oh, I'm just remembering all this and it's so terrible. And then I got home that summer, um, so June to August, and that was the worst depression I've ever had and I hope that I ever will have because I would wake up and I would want to go back to bed. <laughs> Everything hurt. I felt like I would start to cry and I felt like I would cry my whole entire life. Like I would never ever stop. I definitely wasn't interested in the same things that I used to be. I didn't want to work out. I didn't want to see anybody. Even when I was with people, I just felt very uncomfortable and like I wanted to go back home. But then I would go home and then I would sit by myself and be like, I want to be around people. Like... <laughs> So terrible just to feel stuck. Um, what else did I have? Definitely fatigued. My skin started to get really bad. Um, digestive issues. Um, but yeah, the depression part I already hit on. Like, waking up and wanting to go back to bed. Not being interested in anything. Feeling like I could cry and just like cry and cry and cry and never stop crying. <laughs> so... That was the worst it ever was, um, and then I actually found a different homeopath to kind of work through things with that with for me, um, and I worked with her for a while. She got me back to school, um, but, you know, I was still eating the same things. Um, I eventually found a book called A Mind of Your Own by Kelly Brogan, which is amazing because it talks about how depression is a symptom rather than a mental illness. I don't like that. I do think it is a symptom of something else that's going on. In my experience, it just really spoke to what was happening with me, so I felt very connected to that. Um, I read that book. You know, there was a shift where I finally started to forgive my parents and to really deal with the emotions that I had. And I mean, it was time but it was just also, I think I started to eat differently and kind of eat anti-inflammatory foods. And I just started to feel so much better. So then you start to feel better and then your brain can actually process grief and forgiveness. You know, it just took time. And you need to talk to people about your story. You need to write about it. Um, something happened recently where I just like reached out to a lot of people. So I feel like before in my past, like I couldn't do that. I was like, well, I'm not ready. I can't talk to anybody about my pain. I don't want to. I don't want anyone to know about my pain, you know, which is so isolating. You know, it's isolating enough to be depressed, but then you're like, I don't want to talk to anybody about my problems. And it's, it's bad. You know that I'm, <laughs> I'm not telling anybody something they don't know. Um... But yeah, like I said, I, I beat depression. I was on meds pff, my birthday, probably senior year, yeah. Um, but I took them, and at first they made a difference, and then I was like, 
it wore off. It wasn't doing anything. And then I went back to the doctor and she's like, well, I'm going to give you an anxiety medication now too. I'm like, no, <laughs> like I can't do that. I'm not going to take a depression and an anti-anxiety medication. Um, so yeah, I feel like that's probably when I did my own research online about how do people heal their depression naturally. Um, and like I said, I just learned a lot and then I actually changed my diet. So gut health is super important. Getting rid of, it, rid of inflammatory foods. Um, yeah, and I am not going to go back to that place from what I can tell. And if I do, I know the coping mechanisms and how to handle that stuff. Um, but, you know, thinking back about just how intense it was, it was absolutely terrible. And my hope is that I can show women that, you know, it's terrible, but you can also change your life. You can get through it. You can heal it. You can reduce it. I don't like when people say, I'll have it my whole life. I mean, okay, then you're saying that you will. You know, you're not saying, I'm going to beat this. I'm going to get through this. You're saying, I'm always going to have it no matter what. And I think that's a little problematic. So, yes, you can reduce your depression. People have gotten over their depression naturally. It's possible. You know, I just want to say that it's possible and I'm here to help you through that and I can show you ways to do that because I know that it sucks and it's, it was life-changing how sad I was. So I love you very much. I'm sending you love and hope. Um, if you really feel compelled to do something about your depression, let me know. Comment. Um, I'll put my Facebook down below, Twitter, Tumblr, that's all I have. Um, but yeah, good luck. I love you. You are loved. You are so loved. Even if you don't think you are, you are. Um, so I'll see you soon.